So this is Expanse Plan video number nine on the curriculum video, Grandma's Elevator. So my idea is to teach the children the importance of elevators and how they are made and by incorporating a book that focuses on elevators. So um, in the curriculum video, the children that were playing in it were very fascinated on elevators and they were building an elevator. So I thought it would be cool to read them a book about elevators, how elevators operate, how they're made, um, different places you can find them because even that, they might not know that. They might not really have ever been in one maybe they've seen one but they've never been in one or you know so or maybe they have been in one and they're just really fascinated on how they operate and how they were made so yeah that's basically what i want to teach them through reading a book um this experience i wanted to do it outside because i feel like reading outside is very relaxing and calming and it helps you to kind of unwind and actually focus on the book because I feel like if you're in an area where a lot of things are going on like it just causes you to be distracted and you're not really getting the full um you're not really focusing completely on the book you're not getting the full experience that's what I wanted to say sorry you're not getting the full experience of the actual book and taking in what the book is saying um Something I would do differently if I were to do this again is maybe show them a video of that we could still watch outside on like an iPad or like a phone or something. But yeah, I'll show them a video instead of reading about it. Um, so they can get a lot more like action visuals of seeing things actually being built and seeing how the elevator moves, you know, instead of seeing it in pictures. So I feel like that'd also be a good way for them to learn. Um, so how I could modify this experience, um, is by allowing the children to lead in reading the book. So I'm planning on reading the book to them and just having the two children that were, if it was like based on the two children, have them sit with me outside and read the, I would read the book to them and they would kind of just be listening and um, looking at the pictures and all of that, but how I would modify it is for them to kind of take control and be in control of reading the book and flipping the pages and going to whatever pages they find interesting instead of reading the book page by page. They could kind of flip through and be like, okay, let's talk about this and let's talk about that, whatever they find interest in. So, yeah. Um, this experience plan specifically is like very geared towards like their specific interest in elevators only not just in like how technology operates or like how mechanical machinery kind of things operate like it's very specific to elevators um how they work um because the children in the curriculum video were very fixated on like just elevators like they didn't care about any other type of like um system that requires like um pulleys or like anything like that so I wouldn't make it a lesson on like pulleys and stuff like that like no I would just make it a specific um experience about just elevators like <laughs> that was their very specific interest <laughs> so I would tailor it to specifically that in a very specific book and a very specific video if I was able to do this again. Um, so I also wanted to speak to um, my role in this experience. So my role would be to encourage the children to continue to explore their interest in elevators and help them to find answers to questions they might have about elevators. So I kind of I kind of said that before, but yeah, like my role 
would just to be to just further explore their interests in elevators and help them, like I said, to find answers to questions that they may have. And I also thought of um, another way that I could um, make this a new experience for them or if I was to do it again. Um, bring them to like different buildings and different places around like the community that would allow us to. And then I could have the children go in the elevators and like ride the elevators they could see how like older like some buildings might have older elevators some buildings might have newer elevators and they could see like the difference because you know we know the difference in like an older elevator um it might be a little shaky it might be a little slower it might be you know you might be able to hear it you know just them just to let them have like an experience of seeing okay like old elevators are kind of like this and the newer ones are kind of like faster kind of more high tech kind of just better you know <laughs> like let them have the experience and then we could talk about it after um also how i could um change this to focus on a different area of the curriculum i said that um they could do their own research on the computer so using like actual technology to like research about their interest in elevators um i feel like that would be cool for them to a really good experience because of course on the internet you can find information a lot faster than you will in books so i feel or even in like random videos um so I feel like them doing their own research, again, will be able to, like, help them find, like, their specific answers to, like, the questions they have. Um, so, yeah, that pretty much concludes this video for experience plan number nine on Grandma's Elevator.